Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So, today I'm going to be talking about Ravencoin. I've been mining it for the past 48 hours, so I want to tell you guys how much I've earned in that 48 hour period. Not only that, I'm going to cover what mining software I was using, what mining pool, a brief little overview on how to set up the Ravencoin wallet, as well as where to exchange your Ravencoin into another cryptocurrency. So, let's get right into it. So, just real quick before I go into the results of what I've earned, uh, let's just quickly look at what to mine just to see what they say I should be earning. So again, I got my six 1070 TIs there plugged in and Ravencoin is at the top and it's saying I should earn 263 Ravencoins in a 24 hour period or $12.56. Now, when I started this test uh, two days ago, the uh, the expected return of Ravencoin was 278 coins per day. So the difficulty is definitely increasing with each day. Now, this coin was released a few months ago and back, if you were to start back then, the difficulty was very minimal. Uh, so you were mining a bunch of these coins, but now uh, each day, you know, the difficulty is going to keep going up. So I would definitely highly recommend if this is something you're into and want to start mining, I would definitely start as soon as possible. Um, but besides that, let's just go over how much I've actually earned. So at this moment in time, as I'm recording this, it's been 47 hours and a half. So 47.5 hours, basically a half an hour to go to reach 48 hours or two whole days. Now, uh, like I said in the beginning when I started this test, I was expected to earn 278 coins in a 24 hour period. If we multiply that by two, that gives me 556. So let's see how close I am to 556. So with a half an hour left to my 48 hour test, you can see that I've earned 551 Raven coins. So in another half an hour, I'm expecting to earn uh, maybe 553, 554, maybe 552. It really depends, but I think we're really close to what the expected was. Now, if we go to Coin Market Cap for Raven coin, you can see that the cost per coin is 0.048 cents. Now, if we put that into a calculator. We're, I made about $26.51 in a 48-hour period. So that's about $13.25 per day for a rig like this with uh, six 1070 TIs. So right now, at the time of recording this video, Ravencoin is the most profitable coin to mine. Now, if I weren't mining Ravencoin, I would be mining Equihash coins on Mining Pool Hub and basically expecting to earn about $10.79, whereas, you know, I'm making more than $2 more on Ravencoin, so it's definitely, um, you know, more profitable to switch over to Ravencoin at this point in time. Now, what I'm gonna do after this video is attach my two 1080 TIs to mine Ravencoin as well, um, so I can bring up my earnings a little more. Now, what got me interested in mining Ravencoin is that it's a true ASIC resistant algorithm. Now, why I got interested in that is because uh, Bitmain released another ant miner, the Z9 Mini, which is a Equihash mining uh, miner, and it does 10,000 souls a second at only 300 watts. So what's possibly gonna happen is these Equihash coins might fork. Um, so I'm kind of looking long-term here, you know, these cards that I have might end up being useless on Equihash. So uh, Ravencoin is definitely something that might be um, the next best bet because the way it works is it, it actually switches between different algorithms when it mines uh, a block. So the next block will be the specific algorithm and then the next one will switch. So if Bitmain were to create something for this, it might, maybe they could, maybe they can't, I'm not too sure, but uh, it would be very difficult because we don't know what the next block is gonna be, um, what mining algorithm the next block is gonna be. So. I really think there's a future in Ravencoin, especially in mining. So now what I wanna do is briefly go over how to set up a Ravencoin wallet and then we'll get into how to mine it on what pool and what software to use. So let's get into it. So with Ravencoin, we're gonna to need to download like the full wallet. At the moment, it doesn't have compatibility with say Exodus wallet or Jack's wallet. Um, so we're gonna to have to download the full wallet, download the whole blockchain to your computer. So make sure you have enough space on your PC when you're getting this set up. Uh, you can get this on Mac, Linux, or even Windows. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on Windows. So I have a link to the wallet in the description. So 
what you want to do is just go to Windows, that's what I'm using, and what you can do on your computer is just make a folder called Ravencoin Wallet, name it whatever you want, and then just download this, 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 and this, and put it in there, and then you're going to run the raven-qt.executable. Uh, just make sure you have enough space in your computer, on your hard drive, because uh, it's going to actually download the whole you know, blockchain, so that could take up to 10 minutes depending on your internet connection. But this is the wallet here. I just got a new, uh, a few new payments a few minutes ago. Uh, this is also just going to continuously just maybe update while I'm filming this. Um, so if you want to create a new address or get your address, go to File, then go to Receiving Addresses, and click New. And then you can name this whatever you want. It's just a label so you can keep track of things. So uh, basically what I did was I made the label mining pool. And then if you want to just copy that address, highlight it, and then just click copy. And now you have copied that wallet address. So now that we have the wallet, let's go over the mining software. So I just checked my stats on the pool real quick and basically got 556. It's been exactly 48 hours. So pretty much on par with what, what to mindset I'll be earning. Now the miner we're gonna be using is enemy version 1.08. And what you're gonna do is download this and basically download that to your mining rig. So the pool I'm gonna be using is ravenminer.com. Link will be down in the description. And this is the stratum URL you're gonna be using. So, uh, you know, we got the stratum, TCP, uh, ravenminer.com, and then this port. And then you're gonna put your wallet address uh, we don't need a password and you just make your worker whatever you want. Basically for me, I put 1070 TI and just keep in mind that it says here each port has a limit of 2000 miners. So this address might be different when you're watching this um, if the amount of miners did increase on that port. So let's go over to the mining uh, batch file. So after you download the miner, you'll have all this in the folder. And all you want to do is just go to the RVN-RavenMiner uh, and just right click and edit. And then you can see my information here. And I'll have this string down in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Obviously the only difference you're going to have is you're going to want to change your wallet address which you copied from the wallet. And you basically want to just change your worker name which is here. Now the D here equals 16. Um, I found that to be uh, the best setting. I don't have really any drop shares or anything. If I just go to my uh, information here, you could see that's my payouts here. And then this is my hash rate over time. So the yellow line is the long average. Uh, so you can see it's pretty consistent. And you can see here that my hash rate right now is 103 mega hashes. Whereas what the mine says, it should be 60. So we do get some spikes every now and then. And the long average is uh, 67 mega hashes a second. So I did some tests here and there, and what I found to work for me was basically the same settings I use for my overclock settings when I use to mine Equihash coins. So I have my power limit set at 75, uh, the core clock set at 100, and the memory clock set at 720 for the six 1070 Ti's. And uh, you can see here, this is the mining software going at it. Um, we could see here 77 mega hashes a second pretty good stuff and um, so once you do have your batch file ready to go all you're gonna do is just double click this and you're mining on the pool so the way the pool works is you don't actually have a username and password or anything like that you're basically just using your wallet address to log in so basic so what you would do is just go to wallet up top here scroll down paste your wallet, and then within at least five to 10 minutes, all the stats should populate, and then you'll start getting transactions. And now the other thing is with this pool, uh, it pays out every time you hit the minimum balance, which is five Raven coins, and it'll pay out every hour. So on average, I'm getting like, uh, saying here, like six Raven coins an hour, 12, sometimes 15, 18, 16, 13. So every hour, anywhere between six and 18 Raven coins paid out to my wallet automatically. So right now, Raven coin is worth almost five cents. Um, and I'm hoping that this coin is gonna continue to rise. So at the moment, I am not converting it to another crypto like Bitcoin or anything like that. I'm holding it as the coin and I'm gonna hold it long-term depending on what the price is maybe in the next month, maybe six months. I'm just gonna keep mining it at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it. Now, depending on what 
what the difficulty is. If that keeps increasing, I'll have to double check what, what to mine says the uh, earnings are gonna be on a 24 hour uh, day and uh, kind of work from there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep mining Ravencoin. And like I said, I will be switching my 1080 Ti's from Equihash to Ravencoin as well. Now, uh, maybe some of you guys do want to convert to Bitcoin or another crypto. Uh, right now, Crypto Bridge is the most popular for Ravencoin. Now, I'm not gonna actually you know, show you guys how to do that. I'm just giving you the information that it's possible to exchange Ravencoin to another crypto. And uh, I think Brandon Coin over on his channel did a good job at explaining how to do that. He did a live test and it looks like it worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna link to his video, which is right up there. And um, if you find that helpful, leave him a comment, tell him I sent you guys there. So I think this is uh, an exciting coin. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be sticking with it. Um, and I just kind of plugged in some numbers this isn't really accurate. I mean, this basically assumes that the price of Ravencoin stays consistent and then the difficulty does not increase. But it looks like in a month, I could potentially be earning $400 mining with just those uh, 6, 10, 70 TIs. Like I said, difficulty is just going to keep increasing. So it's going to be less than 400, but it's kind of cool looking at that number. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I pretty much covered any everything that I wanted. Uh, uh, if you have any further questions, you can leave them down below. Um, thinking about maybe doing an update uh, after a week or two after I add those other cards just to see what the earnings are and uh, how much the difficulty is actually uh, affecting the mining of Ravencoin. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for stopping by and I will check you out in the next video. Bye.